Yeah, this is the Department of Chemistry GCS. Uh, today, I will be giving you a brief outline on how to prepare dilute alkali for laboratory uses. Yeah, precisely how to prepare two molar sodium hydroxide solution from sodium hydroxide pellets. We are doing this from scratch using the manufacturer's uh, product. On the container, all the information has been well outlined. We use the information on the container to prepare our solution. Uh, firstly, you have to outline the data that has been given there. On the container, I have for sodium, hydro um, sodium hydroxide pellet, the molecular weight is uh, 40 gram per mole. Analyzing the data, the concentration is 2 mole per dm cube which is equivalent to two molar. The volume is um, 1000 ml, which is uh, equivalent to one dm cube. And uh, in doing this, there are three methods. Uh, this takes us to step number one. We have to calculate the required moles of the sodium, hydro, um, sodium hydroxide pellets that will be used for the, uh, for the preparation of the solution. Here, we use the formula concentration, which is equal to moles divided by volume in dm cube. Making moles a subject, the required moles for sodium hydroxide will be concentration times the volume. And uh, as you see, substituting our values, we will have a uh, two mole per dm cube times uh, one dm cube. The dm cube will cancel out with the per dm cube. And we have uh, two moles of sodium hydroxide. Uh, this takes us to step number two. In step number two, we will have to convert the number of uh, the number of moles that we calculated into the mass of the sodium hydro uh, sodium hydroxide pellets. Again, we have to use the relation moles equals to mass divided by molecular weight or the molar mass. We were given the molecular weight to be forty gram per mole, and that would be the mass would be two two. Uh, moles uh, times uh, 40 gram per mole. The mole and uh, the per mole will cancel out. So we will ha be having um, 80 grams of uh, sodium hydroxide pellet that is required for the preparation. And that will take us to step number three. Practically, using the calculation, uh, the calculated values, we need. Uh, uh, 1,000 ml volumetric flask. We need uh, scale balance. We need uh, deionized uh, what we call distilled water. And um, a, a conical flask or a beaker. Now we will carefully measure using the balance 80 grams of the sodium hydroxide uh, pellet into 500 ml distilled water in a glass uh, beaker. Uh, using the glass rod, we make sure that all the uh, 80 grams of uh, sodium hydroxide pellet are fully dissolved. And we do that by swelling it each time we are doing, uh, we are, uh, we are, we are doing it. Along the line, you will notice that there is a heat that is being evolved, indicating that the reaction is an exothermic reaction. Once the solution has been, uh, once a uniform solution has been formed, we have to transfer this from the beaker into a 1000 ml volumetric flask using the deionized uh, water or the distilled water. We have to fill up this 
to the 1000 ml mark and that gives us the two mole i mean a two molar sodium hydroxide solution that has been prepared from sodium hydroxide pellets you will go further to see how this works practically the safety precaution that must be taken there is that uh, since it is an exothermic reaction, the solution is also mildly corrosive. And in that case, you need to put on your eye goggles as well as uh, your lab coat and uh, your gloves. See section B for the practical part of it. Thank you. See you. Mm -hmm.